Hello guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a shadow with Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using a quick selection tool, creating an inverse mask layer, using lasso tool, and using clone stamp tool for removing excess shadows. So let's get started. Here I got here an image of this flower, and it has a shadow on its background. And our goal here is to remove the shadow. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to create duplicate layer of our background layer. So just click on this and press Control plus J. And there you go. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to click on the quick selection tool. Go to the fourth tool, right click on it, and then click on the second one. And by the way, for the shortcut key of quick selection tool, you just have to press W. Okay, now let's create a selection on the flower. Let's also indicate the hand, okay? So let's go and just, just keep on clicking on this. All right, so we already create the selection there. For adding more selections, just hold shift and click and drag on the other parts that you want to select. Okay. Oops, I just selected the shadows there. So to subtract selection, you just hold Alt and then remove the selections. All right. And I'm going to add more selection over here. All right. That's fine. Now we already selected the flower and the hand. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us. Going back, we are now going to inverse the selection that we just created. Now let's go to the menu bar and choose select and then click inverse. Now we already inverse the selection. And then let's add a mask. All right, there you go. And then the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to click on this layer here. This thumbnail here and then get our lasso tool the shortcut key of, of lasso tool is just to press letter l and now we're going to create another selection to the shadows and then i'm just going to create a circle around this shadow all right now once we're done making the selection here we're going to right click on that and then select fill make sure that Make sure that in the contents, click on content aware. And for the mode, it's normal and the opacity is 100. And then select OK. And there you go. Now, look how clean Photoshop removed the shadow. But you will see here that there are still some excess shadows that remains. Now, to remove those shadows, now we're going to use the clone stamp tool to remove them. So this is the clone stamp tool. The shortcut key of it is just to press letter S. Okay. Now use this. We're just going to hold out and get a clean background and paint it to the excess shadows. Okay. So I'm going to hold out and this cursor target. Click on the area, on the clean area, and paint on the shadows until it disappears. Okay, and yes, you can also see that there are some excess over there. Now I'm going to zoom this one in first. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, look at that. Something's wrong. Okay, so to remove that, we're just going to click on the inverse layer mask that we just created a while ago. Click on that. Hold, and then choose brush tool. Okay, and for the, this one, you must... All right, the, the foreground must be white. And then... Paint it to remove this excess. And also this one, there are missing parts here. To bring that back, we're going to choose the color into black. Or to inverse that, you just have to press X. And I'm going to paint on the finger so that the missing part will be back. Alright, so there you go. Now look at, see, look at that. It's, it's already back. 
All right, cool. So now I'm going to show you the before and after. So let's just zoom this one out, okay? And there's, there's still selection here. So we to remove this, to deselect that, just press Control plus D, okay? Now it's gone. All right, now I'm gonna show you the before and after. So this one is the before and this one is the after. And that is how to remove a shadow in Photoshop. See you on the next videos.